Antibiotics. We use them frequently to treat bacterial infections and they are very good at their job. However, concerns have been rising about the creation of superbugs, which are fatal bacteria that are resistant to our arsenal of antibiotics. What is antibiotic resistance and how do bacteria become resistant to the antibiotics which used to kill them? In this video, we will be focusing on a strain of antibiotics known as aminoglycosides, which work by inhibiting the function of a bacterial cell's ribosome. Ribosomes are organelles which make proteins. They work by matching sections of mRNA, containing the cell's genetic code, with matching sections of tRNA, which carry amino acids, creating a protein. The ribosome itself is made up of rRNA and proteins. The 30S ribosomal subunit is a section of rRNA which ensures that only the strongest codon-anticodon pairs can bond. Antibiotics bind to and alter the 30S structure, allowing for weaker incorrect pairings to be formed. The wrong protein is formed and the bacterial cell is either stopped from growing or killed. Some bacteria, however, have developed enzymes known as methyl transferases, which add methyl groups to specific bases in the rRNA. The addition of a methyl group makes the pocket where the antibiotic normally binds too small, which allows ribosomal function to continue as normal. 3D models of methylated rRNA can be found on the PDB website. Here we see a section of rRNA where a methyl group has been added to a guanine. Here we see a similar structure added to an adenine. Other methods of antibiotic resistance exist as well. In one method, bacterial enzymes add chains of molecules to antibiotics which inactivates them. In another method, bacteria develops pumps which expel antibiotics from within the cell. In yet another method, bacterial cells develop less permeable cell membranes which stops antibiotics from entering. Antibiotic overuse is the biggest cause of antibiotic resistance. Killing weaker bacterial strains allows mutated strains to spread. An antibiotic resistance epidemic is in our future if antibiotics keep being rendered ineffective. However, it's not too late. According to the World Health Organization, you can help slow antibiotic resistance by only using antibiotics when prescribed, never sharing antibiotics, and regularly washing your hands to prevent infection. If you want to learn more about antibiotics and antibiotic resistance, feel free to visit the PDB website. Thanks for watching!